Welcome to Face to Face. This is a show about change and about what's next. It's a show that wants to ask questions, peel back the layers of our average everyday experience, and go beyond scratching the surface. We interview amazing people with incredible ideas and stories who have done wild, weird, and wonderful things. Remember that imagination shared create collaboration, and collaboration creates community, and community inspires social change. I'm David Peck, and this is Face to Face. What a, what a pleasure my next conversation was to have with Raja Amare, uh, the director uh, and, and producer and writer of uh, Foreign Body, a new film, uh, the world premiere uh, from France and Tunisia that played at the Toronto International Film Festival this year. And we were also uh, really uh, blessed to have uh, Haim Abbas and Sarah Hanatia there as well uh, to talk about this film. What, what a beautiful film, what a gorgeous film. It is, a again, uh, putting a very human face on a very complicated and nuanced uh, issue. We talk about the film itself and and about that as a craft, uh, uh, but we also talk about about um, you know acting, but we also talk about this idea of, of the other and uh, this notion of healing through relationships and identity and, and compassion for others and, and so on. And so you're going to enjoy the film uh, narratively as a story. It's gorgeous to look at. The cinematography is delightful. Uh, the performances are uh, out of this world. And um, I hope this film gets noticed on a variety of uh, uh, levels. And I hope you can find it and look for it. Foreign Body will probably be playing at the light box at some point down the road. Uh, check it out online, Foreign Body, and a conversation uh, that we had about it with the director and two of the actors from the film on rabble.ca, davidpecklive.com for more information about my podcasting, speaking, and my writing. And coming up, Foreign Body. Well, welcome to Face to Face. We're joined by three very special guests here today. Always a surprise sometimes walking into interviews. You're never quite sure who's going to be there. But typically, the, the director is always there. But uh, uh, we've got two other very special guests here today with us. And we're here to talk about a film, Foreign Body. And I'm going to get everyone to introduce themselves. And then let's get, uh, let's get right into it. But first, can I say congratulations? Thank you very much. Uh, I'm Raja Amari. I'm uh, the, the director of the film. Uh, and also writer, and uh, yeah. So kind of an important part of the movie, really, is what you're saying. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I guess, I guess. <laughs> yeah, 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 excellent. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, and um, thank you very much. Uh, my name is Hiam Abbas, and I am acting the role of Laila in Foreign Body. Hi, my name is Sarah Haneshi. I'm playing uh, Semya in Foreign Body, and I'm so happy for being here. That's it. And the premiere was last night, yes? Yeah. And how, how, how was that? Tell us about that. So I was, this is your first time uh, in Toronto, first time in TIFF. Tell us, tell us yeah, about Yeah, it's that. my first time in Toronto, my first time in, the, in this big festival. I was, I was threatened. Uh, stressed a little bit. Yes. I was I was so excited because um, because uh, um, you know it is uh, a big experience for me and very amazing experience for me. And this film mean mean a lot for me and for for my career. So so it mean a lot for me. <laughs> That's it. So, so first of all, I want to say congratulations uh, on the film and welcome to Toronto as well. I'm, thank you. Yeah, I'm glad thank you so been much. Good, good experience so far. Yeah, thank you. So we're here at the film festival. I don't know, we're day five, I think, day six, something like that. And uh, uh, we're here to talk about your film, Foreign Body. Um, so I was immediately struck. I think a nice way into the film was with the, with the beautiful uh, image of the, of the water and uh, being under the water and the light and, and just immediately thrown into a very uncomfortable situation and immediately this so this juxtaposition of of you know all this life and this beauty and, and and the memories even that immediately come to my mind of being around the ocean and seeing the light and so on and then boom you didn't you didn't give me any more time <laughs> and then we were thrown into a very um a very different world yes uh, actually it was important for me to uh show uh, 
yeah, the sea, the water, but um, show, show it from the point of view of uh, these distressed people. Mm. And um, for me, yes, the... Um, I, I have the reference for me is the Mediterranean, and mm -hmm. the Mediterranean mm -hmm. is this link between Europe and Africa, and uh, and uh, yeah, it's very very beautiful sea, but it's now becoming symmetry, right, literally, right. and um, and it it was yes, I I was referring and thinking about all those people who who are drowning every day, mm -hmm. and. Uh, but also it was important to show something about the character, the main character of the film, of Samia. She's a survival. She's, um, she, and to show her in her struggle to survive. So um, I think it's something that, uh, that show, uh, yes, uh, something that will uh, stick with us uh, during the whole movie. About uh, about the character of Samia, and and presumably she's the only one that survives this uh, this uh, what what do you say this sinking I guess would you say yes um, but we don't know for sure we don't know for sure but for me yes for for the story right, yes right. because it says that we are going to follow this person right. in particular uh, but she's uh, she's a part of a mass of people, but now she's also an individual and we are Do you know what's following. fascinating to me about film, and, and I think it's a testament to your, the, your character, but your writing and the directing, is how immediately sometimes you're drawn into a story, and sometimes you're not. And it's just, it's, it's so, it's speaking of point of view, it can be so peculiar, you know, storytelling and acting and so on, and I'd love to hear your thoughts on that, but, but um, immediately I was, I was, uh, I was there with you, if, if that makes any sense at all. And, and I found it really interesting that, I don't know if you did this intentionally, but the converse running shoes, for me, <laughs> were really important. I, I don't know, was that intentional? Yes. From a costuming perspective? <laughs> yes, we, we, we choose that very carefully, actually. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's something that, um, maybe, yeah, but maybe it's something that I saw uh, a lot in, yeah, some, Immigrant wearing wearing the shoes and and um, and yes, this also drowning sh shoe in the sea. The the, the shoe sort th of that we follow. Yes, yes follow it It's down. yeah, it's um, yeah. And you return to it at the end of the film. Uh, absolutely, uh, yeah. The, the the how to say the um, les traces. traces, the traces of something. Right. What what, what we what we yeah. Leaves. What we leaves, uh, yeah. Well, there's such a for me, there's such a reality to it and, and a, a beauty to it, I suppose, but also a real a real tragedy at the same time. It, it you know, I'm not wearing Converse today, but <laughs> but I have. Do you know what I mean? Like it it, yeah. it, it situates me in yeah. right there with 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 in in a way, in a very simple way, with the characters. Um, it's funny because whatever had been said here reminds me of I don't know if you watch all like the images of all these guys that just like go kill today like this is what we hear about like mm -hmm. all these guys that just like decide in the name of Allah to go do whatever right, right. and often in, in your in often in your image you would think that just like miserable horrible looking people right. and you are so surprised sometimes to see really handsome teenagers, right. handsome boys, and when you often look at how they dressed, you are very surprised how modern they are. Right. Though, right. though right. they are against modernism in a way, but that's sure. like part sure. of their existence. It's a, it's a thought really that I had well, when well, you just wrote up so, the subject. So it's a couple of things. One, it humanizes, yeah. right? It humanizes all of us. We're exactly. all kind of connected and in this together. And then I think there's a, I don't know about if you, how you would uh, reflect on this, but there's a real paradox. Right? It is, that, because they are themselves, right? I think we're not really, that's not our subject, but they are themselves. And what I think Raja succeeded in mm. bringing out mm. these three individuals that are immigrants in a country that it's not theirs, oh. I think it is really about the paradoxes of the human being as it is mm. and how individual each of us mm. with their mm. own paradox, mm. yes, right? Nice. Because yeah. we're 
We're not really similar. We're not all immigrants. We are different immigrants. Right. That's more right to say. Right. right. And yet there's something that connects us all. Of course. Right? Of uh, course. So there's this, uh, I love the phrase, similarity uh, through difference. Exactly. Right? We're all the same, but yet so uh, unique. Right. right. And I'm glad what you said about like the beginning of the movie and the way you were caught in immediately. Mm. Mm. I think this is really one of the like the most important things that you do in uh, cinema work is basically what is your first shot? That establishing shot. What right. is exactly? How do you establish your connection with your audience basically? And I think it's something that you think of like long ahead when you're yes, writing yes. when you're the author sure, of your sure, own movie sure, and sure. then when you start uh, the shooting and once you start shooting so you just have to establish but immediately where what state of mind you put your audience in and how do you connect them to your story yeah how do you so a little technical question i think if you don't mind how do you maintain the performances i mean it's astounding to me the acting is brilliant and it's a beautiful film. Again, congratulations. I think I already said it once. I'll say it maybe one more time. I <laughs> thank you once. <laughs> thank right. you. Um, yeah, how do you maintain such a, I don't know, an evenness? Again, a testament to the talent of, of the people that you pull into the film, I suppose. But can you talk uh, about that a little bit as a director? Actually, I, uh, first of all, I think I've, I'm lucky to have also a... Uh, Mm. Three <laughs> very talented right. actors, um, and I think um, I think yeah maybe from the script there are something about those characters who evolve in a certain way, mm. and uh, and uh, and also uh, the the energy that uh, emane from. From uh, Hiam, Sarah, and Salim, who led me to this, uh, yeah, to this way of uh, directing. I think <laughs> modestly, she cannot really talk about her work <laughs> as yes, as, you, you a, as a writer. Right right so I'm going yes. to say, go, go. Yeah. I th I think it's uh, it's really about like the writing. How can you mm. escape good writing, mm, right? As nice. an actor, nice. right? Yeah. So once the writing is there, once the evolutions of your character is there, you just have to abandon yourself and follow, right? And when you have a director who knows what he wants out of his writing, it's like much easier. I mean, for me, it was the se my second experience with Raja. So it was really like a kind of re reunion in a way where we just like... Well, it's got to be a, a lot about trust too. I think so. Yeah, I think yeah, so. Yeah. It really, it is about trust, and it's again about the trust of the material as yes, well. You yes, know, like yeah, uh, yeah. as an actor, you could have like in hundred percent trust with the artistic side of your director, but like well, what you're working with, if you don't have the material in right, there, and the material right, right. does not mean only words, it means really an emotional journey. Of course. And if that emotional journey is not set up for you to work with, where, where are you going to invent it? From where are you going to bring it? I mean, you can be a brilliant actor, but if you don't have it, people would no, get out and say, okay, you know, like, okay. Not being able to escape good writing is a, a lovely way to put it. it really yeah. Is. yeah. What's, so the film's about a lot of things, it seems to me, and my background in, in, in development and, and, and so on. Very interested as as I read the the sort of the description of what the film was going to be like, and always, of course, the film is going to be a very different experience. And then there's each character's experience and so on. Um, but I was really I saw a couple questions. I want to ask, you know, what is the film about? You know, is this a love story? Is is it a story about about uh, the survival of this the power of the human spirit? Is it about gender? Is it about you know? There's so many things that we could talk about. But one of the things to, for me that was so striking. Again, same kind of with your establishing shot was when you walked into the cafe yeah. after sort of emerging from the ocean and, and kind of, and, and I kind of went through that in my own mind. What would that be like? You know, the world, the world is going on around me. People are having coffee. People are sitting around smoking cigarettes yeah. and chatting. Yeah. And you've just walked in from a, a, a boat that sank. Presumably everyone died. Right, yeah. and, you, and you are, and I know you know, and you're. So, I mean, I, I was. I mean, I got goosebumps. Right, I was thrown. I was thrown into it. It's like just yeah. A question of a question of existence, really, in yeah. a sense, right? Right. Yeah, yeah. It's like a question of 
of existing. Um, your question, please, because uh, yeah, you so, were just talking well, about your question, feeling. The bigger question is, yeah. what's, what's, I get that all the time, by the way. <laughs> what the hell was your question, by the way, David? Yeah, um, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, so the film is about so many things. What, yeah. for you, is it, is it a love story? Is it, is it about the refugee no, crisis? It's, is it about it's, being human? I, it, it, for me, it deals with, uh, with many issues. Mm -hmm. And um, uh, what attract me, about about the character that she's that she's so brave that she's uh, that she's free in her mind that nothing's gonna gonna stop her that uh, she has she has a goal and uh, she need to um, to cut with with uh, with everything uh, bad and uh, she so so. Yeah. There's a great, there's and, a great and, yeah. and 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 she and there is a like a reconstitution. She's uh, yeah going through a change almost. Is yeah, that, yeah, yeah, yeah. To born again. Born again, right? Yeah, right. right. Yeah. Maybe born again. Born again, not born in the again, yeah. not, not in not the in Western sense, kind of the Christian <laughs> sense. We yeah. don't mean that. Yes. Maybe <laughs> what 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 was important for me is uh, is also to to. Uh, draw uh, three portraits mm. of three immigrants, mm. different, uh, who have the same background, but they have different aspirations, and they, um, they meet and confront each other. Mm. And, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, yeah, what was important for me is to portray uh, somehow the complexity of uh, the human beings, mm -hmm. and to to rep to um, to uh, talk about this immigrant, as we said, not as a mass, but individual, but individual capable of love, passion, but also betrayal, uh, and uh, and uh, yeah, and uh, they can yeah betray each other also. So this is also part of humanity. To uh, to represent them on on this um, yeah. Uh, For me, the j so 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 many issues, so many things we could talk about. Uh, you could you could write essays about your film. I, I truly believe that on a, a lot of levels. But there's a great moment where you're you're washing the dish uh, yeah. when you're in the in, in, in the apartment, <laughs> and the other years. dish comes over, <laughs> and and it's just so understated, right? This gender issue clearly <laughs> is a serious problem right and the look on your face and even the way i'm not sure who it was it wasn't uh, uh the main character was it no not it the wasn't main, him yeah. it was one of his friends i guess hours. but it was just even the way there was he almost knew it was a bit of an issue to do this yeah. right yeah. like it was just such a great moment yeah. but it just sort of lays it out in a really like you said the complexity of it this yes. is this is a subtle thing right it can be really extreme sometimes but yes actually for me somehow samia uh, she uh, flew her country but she was um sh she have to uh, find help and the help uh, come from the community sure actually yep. when you're immigrant yep. the first thing you do is to find other people from your sure. country yeah. to yeah. to help you but in the same way, you are escaping them, but <laughs> but you have to go to them. So um, it was important to show the the limit of the um, the um, on, uh, yeah this uh, the community thing. They they help you, but they want they to hold, rule you. They can hold you back as yes. well. Yes, sure. They yeah. hold you back, and they, uh, they they want they want you to uh, to follow their rules. So uh, yes, so she she go to Ahmed, but she want to uh, uh, escape him right, at the same time. Right, right, right. Which exactly again is the complexity of the human. Spirit exactly, and the condition. Yeah. It's it's you're all you're back and forth, right? Yeah. There's a love, there's a hate, there's a, a disregard, there's a, a exactly. positive and negative. It's it's a, always a little bit. It's a fine line, right? Yeah. For some of these issues, and I I love the way you handle pretty much everything in the film. It's so subtle and and, and beautiful, really. Uh, even you. even that your scene with the passport is a lovely scene for me. Of of um, you are so much more than this ridiculous yeah. piece of paper. 
right? Yeah. This photograph, this number that you've yeah. been given by your government, right? Or my government or whoever. And you say, no, hang on. And I don't even know if you looked at it, really. Did you? Did it's you look not, at the passport? You fold it back up and you gave it to her and you said, I'm going to get to know you. It's not only about the passport. I think it's about the photo. Because, like, mm. I fall on this photo of her with her mom. And mm. I ask her, is this your mom? And I think this is, this is one of the parts where... Uh, from uh, what Raja had uh, tried to do in her writing, basically uh, how one character emerges suddenly in the life of the other and mm. shakes his mm. existence in right. a way yeah. where they bring them back to whatever they try to forget about their past in order to constitute a present and a future in that place. And I think the fact that I fall on that picture, of course... Why did you let her in? Why didn't you? Why didn't you say get lost at that point? Because the director told me. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's a good answer. Right? Yeah. Why am, supposed to, answer. why am I supposed to? Why am I supposed to answer that yeah, question? That's that good writing thing <laughs> right. again, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. No, I understand. But um, seriously, you, you, no, you, yeah, those, I understand. Those are the moments, right, that we all have to to dis, you know those moments that and if you go the other way. This is yeah, so exactly. Episode. But I think really, it's, you, you're right, and I think really, I appreciate the way you've. Like you, you bring out these questions mm. about the movie because mm. you're really questioning exactly the writing and mm. the movie itself mm. by what it exists for today, right? And right. I think you're really like a great person that <laughs> to talk you. with about because you just <laughs> like you saw the movie. I, Basically, I, you saw the movie, I, I right? And it, yeah. yeah, no, honestly, yeah. and it's really interesting, very interesting to to talk about your art work when you have such feedback from mm. people who oh, just great. like got, you. you know, but thank, thank you, you thank really. You. Um, why did I get let her in? I think because I was intrigued. Mm. I really was intrigued by this young girl. And uh, again, I think as an Arab woman who escaped her past and who is not trying to connect anymore with that past and with uh, like as uh, she, she tried to kind of fabricates a sort of life mm -hmm. that was correct for her when all the elements were present for her to do so. Right. One of them, and the most important one, had fell down. Right. Her husband died. Right. Right. So I think in her loneliness, right. she was trying to find some kind of uh, replacement, some really. Kind of to a, Some kind of connection. Right. Yeah. And th something to, to hold that palace that she just like made around her, from so her... Richness, bourgeoisie, whatever yeah, you right, want right. to, yeah. Yeah, because you've you've clearly done pretty well for yourself. In, in exactly, the story, exactly, and this new country. Yeah. Right, and I think as soon as she saw this girl, she could have that girl could have been her when she had arrived. Right. Yeah. That girl yeah. could have been, sure. but sure. it wasn't. Sure. But at the same time, that questioning of her about her own immigration brings her to be intrigued by this character. So why not let her in and try to see? So there's a sense in which everybody, it seems to me, all of us, and I don't mean in the film, I mean us here today, uh, globally, my kids, my, everyone, we all want to get home in some way. We all want to find our way back home. And I thought, I thought what was so lovely about the film and the, the, the dynamic between the three of you really, even the tension, even the violence and the anger and all of that, there was still a sense of, of at least we, we're trying to create something here that we can all you know, hang on to. And there is a love there. There is a bond that, maybe it's not love, but there's a bond there mm -hmm. of some kind that, that we need. And, and when you said loneliness, it made, that's immediately where I went. You know, that maybe there was something that reminded you of what had come before. That's another thing, the past. How come you didn't give me any more past in the film? There's yes. so many questions I have about that. And, and I love yes. that. I love it. It's so wonderful. Actually, it's a film about the present and mm. the future, mm. and the past is there. It really for me. is there. Is there because it's um, it's in the body of Samia. Mm -hmm. this, the, those mar marks on her body. It's um, it's in uh, in the in th actually it's in the end of the film, the past when they go back to uh, right. to their homeland and when they reconcile reconciliate okay with reconciliation with with her with their uh, with their land and with their background and also in 
the, the apartment of Imed. It's also part of the past of Samia yeah. with this sure. brother who's sure. Sure. stalking her. Actually, it's the, this fantasy of, of the, the, yes, the brother who's, um, who's there. So, yeah, the, we have elements of the past that uh, deter, determine, deter, determine. determinate the present. Right. Of course. And yeah. all yeah. their uh, reactions or their, um, or the situation um, in which they find uh, themselves are, come from their past. So I didn't want to, um, to, uh, to make a film where we, I explain the past and yeah, because it's for me, it's another kind of, of film. Uh, f uh, for me, Samia, yes, we, we, we have a hint of who she was, but uh, Well, and isn't the point not to stay in the past? I mean, isn't this supposed to be about the future or about the present, about being present and about what's next, about the future? I mean, you know, you. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. And I think exactly. that's kind of, in a way, to me, you, you, yeah. we all have little pieces, yeah. right? We all have mm -hmm. memories and people that we meet. Oh, I haven't seen you in years, and the memories that mm -hmm. it brings up. And I think, I think that's a healthy way to deal with your past. Sadly, I think a lot of yeah. us <laughs> don't. Right, we get yeah. stuck. Stuck in the past, in, yes. In, in the past. And the and the the character of Samia is have in the energy of the of uh, escaping and of uh, having uh, a new life. And yeah, she wanted to forget the past, but she's al always reminded of some aspect of this. Is past. Ahmed? Is he Ahmed? That's a pr proper pronunciation. Yes. Is he is he sort of at the risk of sounding like I'm bashing men? Is he the is he the hope of 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 uh, the gender where 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 ma male and female relations can go in Tunisia uh, the gender disparity assuming there is gender disparity in the country which I think there is and there is here too uh, I interviewed a, a, a Turkish woman recently and I just was amazed in a little bit of research I did that gender disparity in, in Turkey is astounding how 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 difficult it is and how challenging it is. I never really saw Ahmed as, um, hmm, um, clearly he has issues. I mean, as we all do, right? Maybe you think differently on this. <laughs> but he seemed, there would seem to be hope there. Yeah, Does, yes. Is that fair? Is that a fair assessment? Um, for me, the Ahmed is not uh, a negative. He's not character. extreme. He's not extreme. He's. He's maybe uh, when I when I thought of uh, about this character, I was thinking about uh, actually people I I knew in Tunisia when I was in the university. Mm. Um, I'm I met we have in my class a guy who was radical mm. Mm. and who went in prison and he get out of the prison and. Everybody was, um, yeah, fe fearing him. But this guy spent a year in prison, and he changed. He changed his mind. He wanted to become like in a, in someone a, else in a good way. In a good way. In a good way. Huh? But but uh, but everybody was avoiding him. And I was thinking, how c could uh, people like that? change how how we view someone who come from this kind of experience because nowadays there are a lot of young people attracted to radicalism uh, and uh, yeah so those people ha in in uh, which way they can evolve uh, so yeah for me i made is uh, come from this interrogation one of, I mean, I have a lot of favorite moments in the film, but one of my favorites is where you kind of intervene in the, you're serving, uh, was it whiskey? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> which is so yeah. great. And he's sort of smelling it, which to me implies he's had whiskey before, and he has a bar for heaven's mm -hmm. sakes, but I serve it, but I don't drink it, I think he says, right? Yeah. Because you, you're, ch I love your character in this, and I'm getting a sense it's probably partially you too, but a little rebel, uh, a bit, yeah. a bit rebellious, yeah. but the way you push back was so great. And to me, it, it, yes. there is hope. It yes, shows yes. that there is hope, yes. that, that, that we can change, that we, you know. He, yes, for me, it's definitely that. He can change, and he, he's going to change, actually, in this mm. relationship mm. With, the, with, the, with 
both uh, Leila and Samia. And, uh, but, but Samia uh, reminds him of his past, of the, the dark, the dark uh, part of his, uh, of his past, because he, she wanted to uh, expel him from this, uh, from, uh, from the, the life the, of from Leila. From the relationship, yes. yes, yes. So she, she used this uh, element of his past. But yes, I, I, um, he, the, the character of Ahmed is uh, helpful to Samia at the beginning, at, and he's uh, starting to, to change. Uh, Leila uh, gave him the, the, the clothes of the, the husband, and he was, he was changing in, in a different way, but uh, yeah. So, so we're going to have to wrap it up here in a couple of minutes, I think. But um, can I ask, as actors, uh, a lot of reasons why you would you would take a job like this, and I don't mean working uh, on this film, but I mean a as an artist. Let's ask a question as an artist, because I, I do believe in change. I believe in social change. I believe in you know the little things making a big difference. My listeners will be sick and tired of hearing about it, but the idea of you know the the, the pebble in the pond and the ripple effect and so on. And I'm like you, I think it's subtle. I think it's really simple and subtle and mm -hmm. takes a lot of time. Mm -hmm. um, is this why you do what you do? Because you want to kind of change the world in a way? Is it, you know, is it totally driven by ego and getting to travel? <laughs> I don't think so, but I'd love to hear your thoughts. I, I would be really very pretentious if I say that I do this to change the world. God, that's too big to carry. Mm -hmm. But I, I do this basically because I think I'm not able to do anything else. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think. Do you, mean, do you mean practically not able to do anything else, or because? You I think if I'm forced to, if I'm forced to, I would. Yeah, mm -hmm. I mean, if I mm -hmm. cannot get jobs as an actress, you know, I would have to do right. something else. But where is my pleasure and where is my passion goes? Where's your passion? Yeah. yeah. Right now, I think. And I talk about myself. I came basically from a big conflict called the Israeli-Palestinian conflict. And I think I, since a little age, I was aware of an identity that was stolen of me. Mm. And, uh, and I developed myself as an actress, but like I do not forget that the actress that I am is a human being that I am. That means, by all means, that uh, since I was growing up, I was always aware to human matters going around me, right, right. whether they're women issues, whether they're injustice, whether they are political, whether they are social. Right, right. And I believe that I cultivated some sort of uh, awareness to the world around me uh, that I had to include at one stage in my work because, again, it's my vocation. It's what I can do. It's what I'm able to do. So why not, you know, make of me a one human being and a one actress and not hundreds that think and, uh, you know, relate to things in, in different ways? I mean, I do this as a job. I do this to live off. Mm -hmm. But I am really very blessed and very lucky to be able to work with directors and, mm -hmm. and, and subjects that are basically things that I connect with and uh, they connect with the way I see life and the way I act in life That's politically good. socially want, and you know, while you were answering and just chatting I wondered when you said I love your comment about how you you, you your identity was stolen from you in a sense uh, I wonder to what degree that's made you a better uh, Better able to, uh, you know, take on characters and, and take on a script like this. I don't know. Well. I don't know if it made me a better. I think if we take the metaphor as it is, mm. if I got a, a, an identity or a part of me that was stolen, mm. I have to replace it. Right. So I think I replaced it, in everything that I've been connecting with work-wise. Right. So all these identities suddenly that I have as an actress in in different characters, in different movies, in different. N 
different um, productions because they are very different in a sense mm -hmm. because they're not only Palestinians as I am or French because I am as well. Mm -hmm. They're not Tunisians only, they're not Algerians, they're not Moroccan, Americans, English, whatever. Mm -hmm. um, so I do try to replace that identity by a human identity which right. is the identity of the character that I'm playing. So whether that becomes social, political, whatever you'd like to, talk, to call right, it, sure, sure. they just like individual human beings that exist for themselves and they have their own story that they just want to show to people. Yeah, yeah it's about, uh, for me, uh, yeah, no, it's, it's all good. It, it takes me a few different places, but it's about, uh, it's in, there's a sense in becoming who we are, not meant to be, but who, hmm. Who we're going to step into. I don't know if we're sense. meant to be. Really. That's right. right. That's right. I don't think I so think either. I think we, we are who too. we are. Yeah, that's right. And I think we make sense of our lives because you because we we make them. Well, we make sense of our lives. I think I think uh, with others. Yeah. Right. And yeah, I think exactly. that really comes out beautifully in the film. The the the, the That's the exactly that's yeah. exactly the story of this yeah. movie. Yeah. Really, yeah, it's yeah, like wonderful. this. Yeah how one character influences the other Diverse, and how yeah. the threesome exists, but with their differences right, and at right. the same time with their influences on one another. Right. It's good. Right. It's good. And I'll pass on. <laughs> <laughs> uh, for me, since my childhood, I want to be in the world of entertainment. Um, I was looking the whole time for myself in front of the mirror. And um, after that, I, I want to take uh, theater, classes, theater. But my mom, she was uh, denying me because uh, it's in, uh, in my country, it's so complicated and uh, it's, so, it's a little bit difficult to be in this field because okay. it's very strong and, and crazy field. You have to be strong enough, and you have to have uh, you had to have a lot of confidence in yourself to to go in your in your goal. So um, for me, um, I started from nothing, you know, because my family they are not in this field, and uh, I I I didn't uh, when I was when I was children I didn't go to the cinema and watch films and no so it's not in your past in that sense <laughs> yeah so um, but I, I I love this I love this this job and I think it's the best way to express myself mm -hmm. and my energy it's it's going on on that. I don't know how to explain, but uh, I, th I think I know what you mean. I think I, I, yeah. I, can, I can hear the passion. And yeah, I can hear the confidence as well. <laughs> and it yeah. comes through. In, it comes through in your character for sure. In the yeah, film. yeah. That's so for sure. Yes. So uh, for me, um, uh, like like many one, uh, like many actors or many singer or um, they are an example for the other when you start from nothing mm. and uh, and you can tell the other that you can make your 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 dream come true mm. and you can say what you want to say just you have to decide and uh, and, uh, and, and 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 commit exactly and commit. exactly uh, that's it. Mm -hmm. No, that's good. Can I ask you one last question? Um, so just maybe quickly, uh, uh, is there a part two? Or are all your films connected in some way? I mean, you're probably not going to do a sequel to this film. That's kind of a what we call a rhetorical question. <laughs> no. But there yeah. is a thread for sure through your work. Um, actually, um, when I when I start uh, writing, I don't uh, think about a mm. thread, mm. but I think the thread is there mm -hmm. <laughs> through mm -hmm. me mm -hmm. or, or through my obsessions or, right. or through uh, yeah uh, a certain way to express things and uh, through a certain way to uh, approach the characters. Um, yeah, so. Um, I like 
and um, I'm comfortable with uh, feminine characters because I think that uh, it's not only because I'm woman, but uh, but I think uh, uh, characters of women coming from, for example, the Arab world are interesting because they are living more conflict, yes. more challenges, yeah. more um, yeah depth in the sense of they have um, yeah a lot lot of uh, layers of struggle right, so right. dramatically are interesting and um, and yeah maybe uh, um, also uh, i like certain atmosphere and certain way to uh, to deal with the, with the character and put them in certain situations so yeah well the uh, Again, I want to thank you for the film, the, the themes that you've uh, explored in this in thank such you. a beautiful narrative, in a narrative way. Uh, and I think sometimes it's stronger narratively than it is if you were to, you know, get up on a pulpit and preach it or if you were to write an essay. Um, I hope you can continue to thank explore you. those themes. So. <laughs> um, we're here at the Toronto International Film Festival talking about foreign body. Please get out and see the film. And again, thank you, uh, thank you all for joining me today. I really appreciate your time. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you very much.